Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial, uh, it's not a boy here, and in this tutorial, uh, I'll take you shortly uh, uh, to teach you about radio buttons. So, uh, these are radio buttons, and I know you've met uh, them uh, in most places where you're supposed to select more than uh, uh, one. You're supposed to select only one item, and uh, between two items, uh, by just uh, checking uh, between uh, the buttons. And uh, this form of buttons uh, are most common where you, you they only require you to only select one thing. So I'll go to your complete this in Java text and XML. So first of all, uh, go to Netflix, select file, create a new project. So I'll just close this application first. So I'll create a new project, Java FX, then Java FX, FXML application. Select next, then type in the name of our application. So I'll call it uh, application or I'll call it the buttons. Uh, sorry, I take very long, but it's okay. I got the name very wrong, but it's okay. I just continue with that name. And then now, in this FXML file, uh, let us uh, open it in the same builder. So I'm going to teach you two scenarios of radio buttons. One that uses only images uh, or graphics that is, and another one that uh, you just set it. So uh, what I'll be doing now. So let me select to uh, the button the label and delete them. Uh, select this and resize it. So resize it. So once you've done that. Uh, type in the V-box, drag it and drop it inside the uncapping, then right click it and fit it to the current. So once you've done that, then now you're good to go. Uh, uh, so what you'll do, we will add an H-box, an H-box so that uh, both, uh, we have to place our radio buttons on, uh, inside here. And also we need a text uh, that will, uh, the text that will be uh, that will add, uh, ask us uh, to choose uh, one of the things. So I'll put a text in this V box. So once I put this text, I'll let me change the text and I'll set a question here. Uh, choose the agenda. So and also uh, change the font. So I'll change the font family to something like I do. Uh, increase the font size. Uh, uh, that's it. And after doing that, now I'll uh, search radio buttons here. So drag and drop this radio button into the headphones. And then now I'll get uh, duplicate. So that we can have two of them, and uh, for the first, I'll just double click it and change the text value. So, this text value, I'll uh, add uh, let me add uh, two items that is, uh, I'll just I'll type in mail and then go to the second uh, uh, reader button and uh, okay, female. Uh, that's it and then now after doing that now uh, our white box uh, let us set our white box to align everything to the center and then select both of our radio buttons and then come to the layout and then uh, now we can do what you can do just set a margin of 20 on all sides so that we can give it uh, some space now you can save your project and then so far so good, we are good to go. Now, uh, we need another text field, uh, a text field, actually. So this text field will be using it as our screen to get the selected gender, to submit on display the selected gender. So to do that now, uh, remember these are radio buttons, they are just types of buttons. So if you don't need another, another button, but uh, if you uh, decide to put another button, set for you. So just drag this button into the box and drop it in the video. So I can decide to 
increase this. Uh, set a margin of at least five. Uh, and then after doing that, now cut the properties. Uh, I don't want it not to be editable, and then want it also to be more transparent. So once I've done that, now I'll show you now the next scenario. Now where we have a button. So this second scenario, uh, what we'll do? Let us just select this H box here and uh, this text field here. What I'll just do, uh, let us right click it and duplicate. The reason why I've done that is because I want to show you the second scenario. And then, first of all, I will need a text. So this text, drag and drop it in between uh, the text field, this text field, and this H box, the second one, so that we can pose the second question here. Where now we will be replacing this text with images. Now, someone will, maybe you are supposed to, to, to select, maybe it's just a security check. You want to create an application that has a security check where to, to know if the person selecting is a robot or not. So, you can place two images and uh, maybe say uh, which one uh, has a road seat or which one does not have a road seat, something like that. Uh, maybe there are two images, one that doesn't have a road seat and one that has. But there's another scenario where you're supposed to like uh, the, the picture you like, picture A or picture B. So what I'll do, let me first change the value of this text. So what I'll do, I'll just say, select your image, your best image, sorry, or favorite image. Sorry. Favorite image. So once you, you say something like that, then then come and change the font. You give the font. So uh, now that we've done that, uh, we are good to go. Now, cut to the first, uh, the button, uh, the radio button, the second head box here, that one that we duplicated. Then now here, uh, we'll change, we'll remove that text and uh, we'll search for an image view. We'll be placing image views uh, inside these radio buttons. So, to do that, simple. Uh, type image view correctly. So, when you select this menu, drag and drop it inside this radio button and set it where you have to insert graphic. And then now, also drag it insert the second radio button here in the graphic and now we can delete this text here uh, this text sorry uh, now select both the re both radio buttons in the second edge box and now come here to the content display so here you can just say graphic only so you see and uh, uh, you can just say align it to the top but since we are only using images, let us just select it like graphic only. Uh, that will work. And then since we've done that, let us decide our, our first radio button. Uh, we can decide to decide it like So depending on the size of the image, so we don't want it to be very small uh, uh, that we can see the images clearly. So uh, let's also select the second image, negative. So that will work. Now, what we'll do next now, we will be giving IDs to all our buttons. So image on the left hand side will be image A, on the right hand side will be image B. So let us first go and give uh, an action to this, uh, to this, uh, an ID and an action uh, event this first radio button, the first radio button, so that's the first scenario. So we'll go to the code right away, give it an ID, and I'll give it an ID. So uh, let us give it an ID, and I'll give it an ID mail. And then the second one, I'll give it the ID female. And 
and then uh, we will give them an auction the same on auction so let us say uh, display gender so it will run this method both of them uh, will run this method so i'll just copy this method and when i select the male, the male it will run this method so we want it to check which one is armed which one is not armed and then after doing that now come to the second one so the second uh, uh, hbox below uh, select the first ready button and in this ready button uh, we will give it id so i'll give it a uh, picture i know we have not assigned pictures but uh, we will assign it shortly and then come to the second button here and then sign it picture b so we want these pictures to be in our project so let us come uh, i'll choose up two images in my computer and uh, i'll come to local this here and there's a folder called name images so i'll select image one and image two uh, and copy them so after copying them i'll come and paste it inside my pocket uh, inside my my folder here so that's it now come back to the scene builder and uh, now select the first image here and then come to the properties uh, now search our image so we are going directly to the where uh, we stored our project so, so uh, documents uh, tutorials uh, so i'll select radio buttons and i remember we typed it uh, wrongly so it was something like, yeah something like that. So, about it. source and then now here i'll give it the first image image one and the second one here i'll uh, select the image again and go back to documents uh, tutorials uh, and then again we will search for the second uh, image uh, it is the, in the folder uh, review buttons so that's it. so here we are uh, now we have two images two of our images and uh, we are set to go so now that we have done that let us give uh, this the first button an action an action so let us go the code and then here we'll just give it them the same action like we did to the to the upper radio buttons we give them uh, the same folder so uh, the same method and then select the second radio button an action event will paste in some values here so, so so that we are uh, after doing that now i think we are good to go we will give the first uh, text field uh, some id so i'll call it screen uh, and then this one the second one i'll call it screen b So I'll resize the FXML file. Now come uh, to the FXML file here. Select it. So uh, come to this this FXML file. Make your controller. So it's, it's taking time, but uh, now I want to explain something here. So we delete these uh, methods here because we no longer need them. And then now we direct, we'll go direct and call. For the first uh, scenario in the first H box, uh, I will now get now the, the, some some values. So I will check. So if someone selected uh, display gender. Then I will check if now if the mouse uh, if uh, male the ID we give is armed 